because it's the shape of the African elephant ear. And I want to tell you something. I am so excited. I'm bursting. Next Wednesday, my husband and I are going to start a three-week trip to Africa. So I'm just so excited. So this is Africa. So you see these are all kind of whimsical things. There's all these people these things. So now we're going to go down to five. Seven and six are floors I don't like to take tours on because those are floors, especially six. Now, seven is considered a silent floor. No cell phones, no talking, no, it's a hardcore serious room, a floor for students to study. So I don't like to bring people like me up talking about <coughs> the wonders of the library when they can't study. This was the man who developed elevators actually. Otis was wonderful too. But it was because of Lewis B. Sullivan's work that we can have skyscrapers. And Lewis Carroll is the author of Alice, Alice in Wonderland. Wonderland. And so he kind of put the two together in his mm -hmm. own artistic way. Now Mr. Chin did come to the San Jose for the grand opening of the library. We had a, a a soft opening on August 1st, and then we had a big gala party. And Mr. I had met Mr. Chin because I was, like I said, you know, developing the materials for the program. And so he liked the idea of having someone take people around so they could find things. But we all leave our own stories of what these all mean. He, he encourages that curiosity. And uh, I was in the elevator with him. And I went and I thought, ooh, I told him, that's a great soup. He looked, he said, it's Armani. So I said, ooh, pretty good. Yeah, I got it at a thrift store in Manhattan. That's the kind of guy he is, recycle, reuse. Quite a fascinating man. So here's a room, a California room, where there's all things about the, uh, the local area and the state of California. We have a lot of Victorian homes around here, and when people buy them and they want to restore them, they can go into the California room, find out the paint, find out the history of people who lived there, and some even some of the architectural documents that they can photograph and frame for their home. A lot of uh, people that come to work and do research in, in the collections, the materials behind that glass door you can only use while you're in the library. But we have a Beethoven Center, we have a lock of Beethoven's hair. And, you know, I know he hasn't created anything big lately, but he's, a, he's got a big following. University collection. And they're uh, 81 car carburetors, 51, 81, I think. <laughs> anyway, they're all different from cars from uh, a long time ago up to fairly modern ones. And they were all cleaned up and sprayed gold and put in here. And this is called the Golden Gate. <laughs> and because the car has enabled us in California to just get in our car and sample our state and just be free on the road. And Californians have always had that kind of reputation, and you know, he's from the East Coast, so uh, 